Yo, 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 what's up, party people? Crazy Al Kane here, sugarcane.com. CAC TV, heading to an event. It's been a long time since I've been to an actual event. Going to the Cabot Trade Show. This is the first one since the, the whole COVID outbreak and stuff like that. This was actually the last show I went to before they shut everything down. And now I'm back. And they're back at the Meadowlands. Middlelands Expo. So we're about to go check this out. See how it is. See what's going on with the Cavda Expo. They got the car out right now. The Cavda car. They got the Cavda car out here. They were doing the Cavda tour of the different stores. Saw that on Instagram. And this is it right here. The Cavda car. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And they also have this truck sitting here. Must be one of the sponsors. And here we are. Meadowlands Exposition Center. That's what Expo is short for, Exposition. Uh -huh. See, people don't know that. We're about to walk in right now. See what's up. There you go. Thank you. you got it. And here we are. Cab the Expo. The trophies were for... Uh, we have the Retailer of the Year, retailer the Supplier of the year. of the Year, and the Sales Rep of the Year. Who gets the belt, though? The, the Sales Rep. Top sales, sales Rep on the East Coast. Nice, nice, nice. I got, I'm official now, about to go in, but we have some, some details. What's going on here? So we have these bracelets um, indicating your COVID comfort level. So this would be if you're okay with handshakes. This is um, just like fist pumps and elbow shakes and don't touch me. <laughs> so. <laughs> don't touch me. Solo here with Derwin Bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out sugarcane.com. That's right. Where we at? Uh, Cab the Show East out here in New York. Hell yeah. New Jersey, New York. Yeah. Back to you, Billy. Pedro's. Pedro's over here represent Blackout BMX. So Blackout is Kink? Kink Bikes, yeah. Okay, this is a distribution company for Kinks. It is, yeah. Blackout's a distro for Kink Cinema Mission and uh, probably about 10 other brands. What's up guys, my name is Chuck. I'm from Kink Bikes and Blackout Distribution. Yeah. We're on sugarcane.com. Yeah. And uh, we're here at the Cab to Trade Show talking about uh, Kink Bikes and Blackout. That's right. Oh, yeah. We got the squad here. What's up, what's up? What's going, what's going on? on? We have those multiple sizes. Our pedals are, hey! What up, brother? That's right, Eric Bikes. Yeah, like that. A rich bike is a happy bike, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, so we'll be outside, live in there, right? At Captain, man. Yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. of the only old blocks, man. Old blocks in the building, they're all cycles. I went down to uh, to Mexico when I realized that the supply chain here in the States was broken and um, started buying Mexican brands to bring up into the U.S. 
bike, road bike, and everything, hybrids, kids bikes, city bikes, and we've got um, big availability for everything. If you want bikes for your shop before Christmas, we got them. Nice, nice. You guys do BMX? No BMX. Ah. <laughs> Is that what you ride? You be a mech guy? Bong, bong, bong. Oh, there you go. It's a crazy owl. Yes, okay. sir. Am I going to see this on the internet? Yes, you will. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some BMX bikes. <laughs> awesome. We'll work on it. All right. This is Elder Gonzalez with CB Imports. We're here at Cabda in uh, in the Meadowlands, Secaucus, yeah, yeah. New Jersey. Yeah. Having a blast. Hey, Daisy from CB Imports at Cabda East. Go check out sugarcane.com and come check out CB Imports and all the bikes we got. Back to you, Billy. What? Swift's just started this past year. Uh -huh. uh, we have three different models. The full commuter, we got the fleet beach cruiser, and we got the zip, six speed, 500 watt motor, 46, uh, 46 volt, 37 miles on a single charge. It's entry level, affordable luxury. Can't beat our pricing. You know, if you're new to e-bikes or you want to get into it, entry level, uh, you know, we're definitely the guys to be. Started this year. Uh, we're one of the primary e-bikes uh, with Best Buy. Mm -hmm. Right now at Ride Swift. R I D E S W F T dot com. Hey, what's up? My name is Mitch. I'm with Ride Swift. R I D E S W F T Ride Swift dot com. Yeah. Here at Cabda. Yeah. And Sugar King. Yeah. It's my boy. <laughs> Back to you, Billy. What? I just found out there's a BMX e bike coming. BMX e bike coming out. Ride Swift. 2022 uh -oh, uh -oh. BMX e bike hitting the streets. Uh -oh. Get ready for us. I have Hurley. Apparel company doing crazy things for many years. I used to buy a bunch of those Hurley shirts back in the day, and now they're making bikes, man. A whole bunch of bikes. Lots and lots of bikes. And e-scooters. And scooters, e-scooters. What is going on with Hurley? We have Phil here, he's gonna let us know what's going on. So what's going on, uh, about a year ago, Hurley decided to get into lifestyle bicycles, uh, and the, uh, the project started pretty rapidly. Uh, went to China, uh, found some, some great products, uh, did some uh, specifications that uh, mostly ground up, and really keyed in on uh, mini swell, like a, the mini motor e-bike along with some really cool beach cruiser lifestyle bikes. We hit rapid success. I heard the Hurley brand is well known, probably one of the top known brands in the US. Uh, we've opened up 250 independent dealers in the last six months and the, uh, the tide keeps coming. Um, we're right now working on our 22 line, ground up builds and a more refined and defined line. So uh, look for us in 22. We're also doing scooters, e-scooters, and um, you know, the emphasis, like I said, is lifestyle. So you started eight months ago, you said? Yeah. And you got, you got, a, you got a shipment container we to, have to get here before everybody else's. 20,000 bikes <laughs> in stock. Uh, <laughs> I guess we had the right connection. They, they got the connect. Yeah. And, Early got uh, the connect. First uh, 21 line, 22 line mm -hmm. is in port and should be available January. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. And where can people get the bikes? So we're, like I said, about 250 dealers across the U.S. so far. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Amazon carries a select line. Nice. Um, and there's some uh, select online retailers. 90% of our line is e-bikes. Uh -huh. And we do do uh, your basic uh, beach cruiser, right. Nani, and some fixies. 
Okay, so yeah. you, so so since I'm a BMX head and a lot of people who watch this website yeah. are BMXers. Okay. Is so, there any plans yeah. for a BMX bike down the By line? By spring, you're gonna see uh, our street cruiser line which is uh, ground up, developed by one of the best developers and I think in the world. You're gonna see some unique designs, colors. Uh, watch out for us in April, uh, all new street line. And we're doing a uh, 29 inch E street cruiser. Nice, nice. Yeah. How about BMX racing bikes? Uh, we're not there yet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, BMX racing, uh, maybe down the line. Uh -huh. You know, we want to stick to lifestyle right, uh, right. And, and that real core customer. Right. Uh, you know, we're not a uh, you know, super high-end exclusive line. Right. Uh, it, it's uh, it's all about the everyday user. Got you, got you. Yeah. How about entry-level BMX racing bikes? I think the street cruisers is going to address that. Okay. We're doing a 20 inch, a 24 inch, 26, 27, oh, nice. 5, and 29. Nice. So I think we're going to address that that entry level with oh. a really incredible design. Oh. And um, we call it the liquid series. The paint, the aesthetics, the, the frame design will be nothing like anything on the market. Nice, yeah. nice. Be on the lookout for that. Phil from Hurley Bikes. I'm here in Cabda with the great guys at Sugar Cane. Yeah. Back to you, Billy. One. Finishing road bike bar tape. This is stuff that comes in the package. Looks like that. You throw it away. A lot of people use electrical tape. Uh -huh. Probably electrical tape will get gooey in the sun. Right. This is silicone. Mm. So no adhesive. It stretches. It adheres to itself. Anyway, you want a hundred grand. Oh snap! A hundred grand. <laughs> so you can go online buy that a roll of a ten foot roll of that for about nine bucks. Uh huh. Does about ten bikes. So not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. I buy it in bulk, I can sell it to you for $4.46 a box. Nice, even better. Nice. So what else do you guys sell? So we have all the basics. So like that Fuji bike right there. Uh -huh. What I did is I took an old mountain Fuji mountain bike, stripped it all the way down and built it back up with parts you can get from us. Uh -huh. Only thing that's left of the Fuji are the frame and fork. Right, right. Nice. All, all the basics. What I like to say, bike parts for the rest of us. <laughs> Which means no carbon fiber, no titanium. No electronic shifters, all kinds of other stuff. Gotcha. And I do have some old school BMX stuff. We bought out another supplier uh -huh. that had all kinds of cool new old stock stuff. And we do have some BMX stuff. So basically, we're at it again. We just uh, dropped a couple new bikes. Uh, we just dropped the Chad Can Color Edition bikes, which is a collaboration with an artist out of LA. Super cool dude. Um, we came out with uh, two models for him. We also have our new Block Boy Flame Fame bike, as I call it. Uh, we just dropped that as well. We dropped the 20, uh, 14 karat gold bike as well. Um, we dropped the Jade Green. We dropped the 27.5 if you're not on it. You're missing out. And then we got this one getting ready to drop in January. Wish I could show you guys, but I can't. <laughs> you know, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff happening over at Throne. I mean, we're growing at an alarming rate. Um, constantly innovating, like one of our latest innovations. Let me walk you over here. This is our 14 millimeter 
rear axle with new dropout, new chain stays, stiffen up the whole back end mm. for all you swervy, swervy guys. Mm -hmm. um, dropper, you know, quick release, CNC stem. Bikes are getting a lot better and uh, more durable, and you know, we're listening to you guys, you know? Nice, nice. Gotta listen to the riders, gotta give them what they want. Constantly evolving for the future, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, stay tuned. Got a lot more coming out. Throwing cycles, hit us up. So Chad's been a friend of mine. We we uh, we mingled in the motorcycle car uh, business. We uh, we he's done some cars for SEMA. I've done some cars for SEMA. Uh -huh. um, so we got, we've always been in touch. Uh, we were gonna do some collaborations with us with somebody uh, another company, but it never materialized. So. As soon as I got with Throne, he's like, yo, dude, he goes, I like the vibe. I want to do something with you guys. I'm like, dude, I'm down. Let's let's do it. Right. So we went ahead and did uh, you know, the collaboration with him, and then we threw a big old party in LA. I just love his work. You know? right, right. Like, and he's a cool dude, which I love. He's a humble dude, like, you know, just dope. Is this um is that like a, a sticker or is that actually art on the front? Oh, so he hand drew it and then it tra they transferred it over into like a, what they call like a water decal. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it's on the frame and then clear coated over. Nice. So uh, yeah, all that's hand drawn. He hand drew the boxes as well, and then he actually did something really cool. If you look in our video, he painted all he painted 20, 20 white boxes and twenty pink boxes, and then went and hand painted on top of that all oh. of that artwork. Nice, so somebody nice. along the way got a piece of art on every box that they got. So cool. we, we shipped them out like one bike shop would get like one box or if you ordered online you'd get one box and that kind of stuff. So right, hopefully right. you're one of the lucky ones that got that, you know, artwork. That's cool. So you have the pink colorway, you have a white colorway. Yep. Um, is there any other colorways in this bike? Uh, we're going to work on some uh, new stuff for next year. We're going to do another collaboration with him. Um, uh -huh. He's, you know, super psyched. He's a rider too, so which is good. Right. Um, so we're going to work on something new and, uh, you know, exciting for that. And it'll be, you know, a big party and, uh, you know, fun times. Here we got the new Elite 26 inch bike. Uh, sealed bottom bracket, sealed bearings, sealed everything. You know, it's an awesome bike for the price point. Uh, we're gonna do we're two models. We have a full chromoly model, and then we have a high tensile steel model. Uh -huh. This is the tensile steel model. Um, we changed it from the last version. We brought up the, the top tube height a little bit, made it more. Uh, it gave it more stability. It just you know just overall aesthetic is just more BMX. So we went ahead and did that. 48 spline crank. Mm -hmm. um, I mean it's a for the price. Like I said, it's a great bike. It rides awesome. The geometry is awesome. What's the retail on it, Ike? On the elites. Um, the 26. 499. 499 is retail? Yeah, nice, okay. nice. So for 500 bucks, think about it. You get a full on BMX bike that yeah, you can go yeah. either wheelie around or go mess around at the track or even the skate park. Right. You know what I mean? It's yeah. 14 millimeter rear, you know, so put some pegs on it and, you know, go shred or hit your local track and go race it. So now you have an MC part of the uh, conglomerate. Yep. And you also have an artist, an illustrator, graphic artist yep. part of it. What's the next talent? you're going to get associated with the brand so i'd love i would really love to have i would like to have all like every genre that we could possibly have like i'd love to have a car guy i'd love to have a motorcycle guy i'd love to have a music guy and when i mean music not so much as like an artist like a uh, rapper singer whatever like the producing side of it right, you know right. what i mean like the technical guy yeah um you know just pretty much anything like just something abstract different you know that's going to bring some a new light to to the industry you know the right. industry as a whole as the big bike bmx community grows right. you know i want everyone to prosper you know what i mean every brand to get bigger because it's just going to be like bmx you know in the 80s and 90s if everybody contributes we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then you know everybody gets to eat so, that's a fact. That's yep. a fact. all right check us out throne.com make sure you hit us up i'm on that new goon 29 inch disc brake Woo! I'm at sugarcane.com. Make sure you guys check them out. See what we got going on, what they got going on. Back to you, Billy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to you, Billy. <laughs>
and the biking community cares about the environment so it makes sense for a company to meet them where their needs are and provide a, an environmentally conscious option. So our product is made with uh, sh lanolin sheep oil mm -hmm. as opposed to petroleum based products. Um, you'll have the same type of longevity and performance as you would of the other products that are out on the market today. And our whole line of products are all natural. And so when you're working with it in the back of the shop, you can feel good that you're not getting those noxious fumes, breathing them in. You also feel good when you put the chain lubricant on your, on your chain that it's not dripping out when you go out on the bike trail. We are in the process of adding more product lines, uh, but right now we have three different viscosities for bike lubricant. We have an all natural palm, kern, palm kernel oil um, cleaner. We have a new prototype, which is like a WD-40 replacement. And this is like for household type applications where you can use it on squeaky doors and things of that nature. Um, yeah, and we're fairly new, like I said, we're based out of Cleveland, Ohio and we source everything domestically and then we manufacture right in Cleveland as, as well. Nice. My name is Matt Skellick, I'm here with EcoSheep. We are based in Cleveland, Ohio and today we're here at Cabda and we are now gonna be on sugarcane.com. That's right, get your lube on, natural style. Back to you, Billy. One! That's really cool, so you can actually teach your kids how to, uh, you know, lubricate the uh, bicycle parts, things like that and not worry about them, you know, yeah. touching their face and stuff like that. Exactly. So really cool. There's nothing bad in there, so you will be safe to, to touch it and everything. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and we just met up with G. What's G going representing on? Uh, Raw Deal Tees. What else? Mid Atlantic, Mid -Atlantic BMX. BMX. He came up, so we're going to walk around with G and uh, check out some more stuff, all right? Back to you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Kenda booth right now. I'm here with Matt and uh, I saw something real cool. They have a new 20 inch tire, BMX tire right here. Tell me about this guy right here. Uh, it's Kudos, uh, comes in 20, 175, 195, mm -hmm. uh, tube type, and then also a tubeless version as well. Nice, nice. New design, you know, Kenda didn't design a lot of BMX for a while, mm -hmm. so seeing the growing popularity in, in BMX, tracks getting built everywhere, right. wanted to bring back some new models. And so we've got the Kudos, and honestly, this 360 comes in, a, this is a 24, but this also comes in a 20 inch as well. Nice. The black and the tan tread. Mm -hmm. uh, different compounds, so one's faster rolling, than uh, one's got a little more grip. Kudos is uh, definitely a race specific tire. Nice, nice. Is it a folding or? Yes, folding, folding version, so yeah. So anything that we make in a pro style mm -hmm. is folding bead. And again, if it's you're looking for the tubeless version, there's just a little icon TLR, uh -huh. and then that's what you know, you know, you got a tubeless version. Any different colors coming in for them or just black? Uh, right now, the Kudos is just black, uh -huh. but we still do some of our older like conversion models in blue, red, right, right. orange, yeah, so other colors as well. So yeah, because you know, I, I kind of miss those uh, different wall colors, the white I, wall and the red wall yeah. and the blue wall and stuff. Yeah, so. as we roll some more BMX out, I know we'll bring back some colors. Right, right. Whatever happened with that actually? I mean, why did it kind of like had a phase and then it kind of died yeah, out? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a good question. You know, I just some things roll into bad. It's funny now because now, now we're doing all these like coffee sidewalls. Right, right. Coming back into style. So this is a 360. Uh, first version was 26 inch for kind of dirt jump bikes. Mm -hmm. But we brought this in to also 24 and 20. And then you've got the, the tread, like I said, the tan tread compounds a little faster rolling. Mm -hmm. So that really hard pack. Uh, BMX or dirt jump course, and then the black version, it's got a little more grip if you're riding the street or, or just want a little more grip on the, on the track. And how has the uh, COVID treated you guys? Is it like uh, hard to get tires? Made, it, it, there was, you know, everything paused for a minute and then everything came back full on, you know, right, and that was right. just, it's not just North America, it's in Europe and South America and everywhere. So factories shut down. Then all of a sudden it was like, bam, you know, like right. six times the amount of, of production was needed. So they put a strain on everybody, the production, the raw, raw material suppliers, right. but we're catching up. Uh -huh. Now everything's just sitting on boats trying to get up. So we're <laughs> still having the boat problem. A little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I'm pretty confident in 22 we're gonna catch up. And then just the, the good thing is you're seeing more and more people riding. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I look at the trails in my little local area, 
kids all over the place. Like right. that, the enthusiasm hasn't died down. Right. And um, it's kind of cool seeing BMX come back too. Yeah. Just in our area, we're in Columbus, Ohio. We got two new tracks mm -hmm. uh, on the outskirts of town. So. Right. You race? I don't, but oh. I'm getting my. I got a. Uh, my middle son is, is kind of showing interest. So awesome. That's awesome. Get him into it. Yeah. That's awesome. One of my favorite tires was the Kenda Compact. Yes. Um, it was a good tire. It was a very, uh, a very affordable tire. Um, is that still getting made or? Still getting made, still and made. we actually just uh, revamped because it used to just be a 60 TPI folding. Right. Now we do a 120 folding. Okay. So a little uh, higher end uh, TPI count. Nice. And what sizes are you gonna have that in? Uh. 21751951195 and I think that one we're doing still a 21 and 382 for the season. Nice. Yeah. I like that news right there. <laughs> and we're going to do what white, red, blue, we doing Yeah, and the compact does come in colors. So. Nice, nice. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I might have to get myself a contact again. <laughs> All right, man. Matt Boise with Kid the Tire. Yeah. Uh, at Cab to East. Yeah. Uh, just showing off a little kudos. Kudos. And the 360. 360. Uh, we're on sugargame.com. That's right. Say back to you, Billy. Back to you, Billy. One. <laughs> hey, I'm Kip from WD40. Uh, we have all of our bike uh, products and WD40 Specials products on display here at Capta East. We have bike cleaner, bike degreaser, uh, three different kinds of chain lubes, a dry, a wet, and an all-conditioned lube. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a whole plethora of other specialized lubricants uh, for all your other bike maintenance needs. Uh, you can go to WD40.com and WD40 Bike on Instagram. There it is. There it is. There it goes. Uh, Italian brand. Mm -hmm. Italy made helmets. Italian made <laughs> Glasses Coup, uh -huh. which stands for Cask Optimized Optics. Uh -huh. um, we're a Pirelli US distributor, nice. Pirelli tires. Uh, we also took on Pro Logo uh -huh. saddles. The cask helmets are worn by the Ineos team. Started with Sky. Uh -huh. Glasses are worn uh, by the Trek Segafredo team, men's and women's team. Nice. All wear the, the Coup glasses. Well, you know, since I'm a BMXer, yeah. That full face helmet is calling me right now. Oh, Let's yeah. talk about the full face helmet real quick. Tell me, tell me about this thing here. So full carbon shell, so super lightweight. It's DH certified, mm -hmm. adjustable visor. White weight is really kind of like, you know, you pick this helmet up and you can really kind of tell the, the difference in terms of the other full face uh, helmets on the market. Uh -huh. Removable pads for safety. So, you know, something should happen to you in a crash. Pull down on that, and come right out so you can kind of leave you more space without wrenching your neck if you're you know, involved in uh, where paramedics need to get to you and stuff like that. So they're snapped in there. Comes in four different colors. Uh, this kind of white, lime green, and it comes with a, a white and a blue color and a dark kind of like carbon look here with uh, orange. Nice. Orange and red. Nice. We're based in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Our warehouse is there, so we ship right from there. Nice, nice. I'm Max Acaputo with Cask America. Yeah. And I'm here with Sugarcane.com. That's right. Defender, Cask Defender, full face helmet. Yeah. Mobius and the Cool World Demos. That's right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Back to you, Billy. Yeah. What? <laughs> Revere, bicycles, bikes. This place is crazy. They got everything here. One stop shop for biking. And I have Mike. Mike representing right here. One of yep. the owners? One of the owners, yep. Owner founder. Owner me founder. And, uh, me and my dad, who's right over there. Right there with the hat on? Right there with the hat on. And who's this guy right here? This is Ian. He's my brother from another mother. There we go, right there. So you guys are all in business together? We're all in business together. So we actually started with a bike shop um, in Howell, New Jersey. A lot of the brands that we carried, the price points on their kids' bikes were not attractive to our customer base. Right. So uh, my dad has a lot has had a lot of experience manufacturing uh, and importing. So we started designing our own bikes, and um, it was successful in our shop. And we're able to provide our customers with IBD quality youth bikes at not quite department store prices, but certainly not like specialized level prices. Right, right. And oh, he's name dropping too. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I could say the other. I could say the other brand, but everyone knows who we're talking about anyway. Um, Trek. Um, <laughs> Anyway, the bikes did well in our shop, and so some of uh, our reps who supplied us with, you know, a lot of the other brands we carried, right. took our bikes, showed them to other shops around the Mid-Atlantic region, 
they loved them. So uh, we expanded from there. So we went from just doing single speed kids bikes to geared kids bikes to bikes with suspension and disc brakes. And so uh, from there we started moving on to adult bikes. So we've got a hybrid coming out over here call it like a gravel adventure hybrid bike mm -hmm. so this is like we've got one with a one by nine drivetrain with hydraulic disc brakes we've got one coming out soon with a one by ten drivetrain with a carbon fork and mm -hmm. hydro discs this one here is a little more entry level mm -hmm. so that's got a one by eight drivetrain with mechanical disc brakes mm. and this has been very hot everyone's been waiting for this which is our first uh, trail mountain bike right. so this would be similar to we're gonna drop some names a rock copper sport or like a giant talon four right. um, so it's got a two by eight drivetrain mechanical disc brakes good suntour fork on there so it's great bike for your customer who just wants to dip their toe into mountain biking mm -hmm. you know doesn't want to drop spend more than a grand so like we retail this bike for under 600 bucks nice is this going out to dealers or customers it's going out to the internet so going out to the internet pretty much well, everybody all right well dealers <laughs> all these bikes get you between 40 and 50 points on every bike nice. we are the easiest company in the industry to do business with nice, um, nice. who does who, who does the geometry on these bikes i like the way the geometry looks yeah so you know we're all bike guys okay um um, so we look at what the industry trends are. We look, you know, we ride the bikes ourselves. Uh, we hire engineers. You know, they're engineered bikes, and uh, you know, we see what what we like the most, what we're the most comfortable on, what our customers at our bike shop, how they respond to certain bikes that we sell. Because we don't just sell our own brand in our store. We also do specialized and giant. Well, you guys like BMXers as kids or anything like that? Ian. Is our BMX guy? Uh oh, come on, let's go be. Yeah, let's talk to Ian about yeah, BMX Ian, bike. I asked him about BMX. He said you was like the BMX guy here. No, not me, man. My <laughs> other guy, Harold. I ride a little bit of BMX, mostly mountain <laughs> gravel. I ride them all: gravel, right. mountain, road, some BMX as well too. Right, right. So, do you guys ever think about sponsoring a team or something like that, or sponsoring kids at the tracks? Because you know you got yeah, three so, BMX tracks in Jersey and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Uh, so we actually don't have any BMXs in the line right now. What uh -huh. you see over there are just like, you know, single speed youth bikes. Right, right. However, BMX is coming soon. Okay. Probably uh, middle to late 2022. Okay. We've got the bikes designed, ready to go. I'm just waiting for some stuff to slow down a little bit before we add those to the to the repertoire as well. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Wait, wait, what'd you call those again? Single, what did you call uh, Those are sing just single speed youth bikes, you know. Right. Just, we are doing a line though of entry level BMX bikes, a mid range and a higher end too. So we're gonna have some for kids, uh, you know, adolescents as well too, a different top tube size as well. Gotcha. Free coasters, cassettes too, gotcha. uh, steel frames, steel forks, steel bars, all that good stuff, sealed bearings on them. So nice. we're gonna take a, a bunch of stuff and try to make it into like the best BMX bike we can for the price point for the rider. That's cool, that's cool. And then. Most of your stuff is aluminum, or do you do chromoly, or what are you doing? These are going to be aluminum frame and forks on a lot of these bikes. Uh, for the BMX bikes, we're definitely going to be using uh, chromoly steel, just because of the, the higher strength on there. So obviously the weight ratio is going to be a little bit higher, but mm -hmm. be a lot stronger of a material. But for these, we're definitely going to keep it into the aluminum frame and fork. Even for the kids' bikes, too. We do a full right. aluminum frame and fork on those as well. Nice, nice. And any BMX racing bikes you're uh, working on? Uh, hopefully, we'd love to do that at some point. All right, all right. That'd be pretty cool. You know, I'm always campaigning for the race bikes. That's uh, it, man. We're <laughs> new. We, we ride. We, huh? We uh, ride. I got my own frame. Nice. Yeah, I make my own frame. Nice. Yeah, he's advertising our brand. Don't ask him about his own. <laughs> uh, there you go. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're only like... We've been doing this for like five years or so. It's been right. successful, but it's growing slowly. So, you know, next bikes we're bringing out are what you see over here. I really like this one. I'm yeah, gonna be honest. I that's like that. coming that March, cool. April. Oh, that, it is so much fun. Yeah, it looks it like rides fun. very well too. Yeah, yeah. Nice ride to it. It's sweet. This is Mike. Mike. The Z in. And at Revere Bicycles. Revere Bicycles. Right, Captain 2021. Captain 2020. 2021. I think for a second. Is it Captain 21? Yeah, yeah Captain Supercast, what they've done is they found out that oil slick is a really popular um, item. Uh -huh. So on these Allen keys, they've used the oil slick on that. They've also included that on bar tape, also bottle cages. So you can see the jets, the oil, 
<laughs> the oil slick there, I was gonna call it jet fuel. <laughs> and then on top of that, even on the CO2 inflator. Yeah, yeah so it's a diamond Kush grips. Gives you a, bit of, um, a little bit of um, showiness, uh -huh. uniqueness when it comes to um, cycling. And then even on the carbon cages, check out that, the holographic. Oh, is that the logo? Yeah. Nice. Super cash. Super cash. We do maple-based athletic nutrition products. So we started with 100 calories of pure maple syrup in a, in a little foil pack. So you can take it with you on your ride. Um, We've expanded from there to, to four other, uh, or four total kinds of uh, gel replacements, all based around maple syrup. And then we've got six different kinds of waffle, only sweetened with maple syrup, maple sugar, and using only real ingredients. So uh, if it says it on the front, that's what it's got inside of it. So we got our pure maple syrup, uh, salted cocoa and salted raspberry, boost up the electrolytes in the syrup. Coffee infused maple syrup, the coffee brings a little caffeine to the, uh, to the show. We've also got two electrolyte replacement drink mixes. So we started with our pure maple waffle, with coffee waffle, cocoa waffle, raspberry waffle, and then lemon waffle. Lemon waffle. The only sugar came out of a maple tree. Untapped.cc, our Instagram and social handles is uh, at Untapped Maple. Hey, I'm uh, Doug Brown. We're here at the Untapped booth. I'm with the sugarcane.com guys. That's right. We're showing off uh, our better sweetener than the sugarcane stuff. See that? See that? I give them love and they're still trying to compete. <laughs> Back to you, Billy. One! We're at the infamous G Form booth. Make some great protection for you. We're going to find out what's going on, what the new stuff is. And we have George representing here. Yep. Hi, how are you? And we have Beth. Hi. How are you doing? How's it going? All right. So uh, we got a lot of great things going on. The number one thing is we use SmartFlex, which is our proprietary uh, material. All of our pads have it. So we basically make the Pro Extreme, the Pro Rugged, and the E-Line. And so each one of these has a step up in protection. Two layers three layers and four layers. Ah. And this, uh, the E-Line is designed for E-mountain bikes and it has a, a, a frictionless um, fourth layer on it, which is great. The Pro Rugged, which is new for this year, it's one of our uh, best-selling uh, pads. We've extended the, the grippers both on top and on the bottom, and this has two layers. Uh, this is our um, Street Art series, okay? And this was uh, done by an artist named Rowan out of uh, California. We have our shorts, which are great. These are particularly good for gravel. Uh, hip protection, it has a chamois, mm -hmm. and then we have our vest, which is great for BMX riders. Nice, nice. I mean, uh, Jersey, I apologize. Nice. A lot of people in cycling, they don't wear like pads. They go out naked, basically fall, gets cut up and stuff. And I always say, you know, you guys can wear a G4. Right. Um, do you ha have you ever done any wind resistance tests and stuff like that to, to see if it, if it uh, hinders any kind of uh, wind? No, for the most part, because of the uh, products are based on the elbows and on the knees, right. that wouldn't really hamper that much. And then like uh, this product is, uh, uh, designed to go underneath your uh, uh, mountain shorts. Right, right. So, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, like anything, it's going to have some impact on uh, aerodynamics, but it's very minimal. But if you, you know, were underneath, definitely, it wouldn't really make a difference yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah, but the most important thing about it, it's all about the protection. Yeah, you yeah. know, the thing that makes our product so unique is that it's waterproof, and that's really important because, you know, after a day, out mountain bike and these things are all dirty right. and it's stinky and everything you can just drop it in a washing machine mm -hmm. hand hand dry it hand dry it and then the other thing is as cool as this looks there's a reason for it because all these um islands basically uh allow us to do mapping which means that the product can conform to your um, elbow or your knee and it's very comfortable but also the other thing too is that this a this absorbs impact right so when each one of these little islands if it gets hit right here it will the impact will not will not go any further than that one island right right so it's uh 
It's, you know, it, 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 as nice as it looks, it's also functional. So this one, like all my cyclists know out there, you can wear pads, especially, yeah. especially recreational cyclists. You can wear pads and protect more than just your head when it comes to uh, cycling. So these are our Serata gloves. Uh -huh. They've got the padding right here on the side. Same thing, it's flexible, but it'll harden up on impact. We've got the Moab gloves that have different coverage. It's got all across the knuckles and fingers. So even more protection there for you. Is it, is it padded on the, on the inside too? Like on the other? No, there's no padding on the hands, but um, just on the knuckles on the outside. Well, thank you very much. My name is George and this is Beth. Yep. We're from G4 and this is sugarcane.com. Yeah. At Cabda. At Cabda. Back to you, Billy. Back to you, Billy. <laughs> thank you. This was day one of Cabda. I'm only here for today because uh, I gotta go. I got other things to do. But uh, it was a good day, saw some really cool stuff. Check out the cool Thule stuff over here. They got the whole tent on top of here, which is really cool. <laughs> saw a lot of cool things, a lot of cool products. Didn't get to talk to everybody I wanted to because the day goes by really fast when you're interviewing people. And that's pretty much it, right G? Fun time <laughs> with Billy. <laughs> Billy in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is crazy out can shoot can out on CAC TV, and we are out, son. <laughs>